So I did some uh, research this year on my uh, fuel pressure for the nitrous. See, there's uh, two solenoids. One is uh, fuel or gasoline. The other one is the nitrous itself. So my goal is to have zero pressure drop when that gasoline solenoid opens up. And uh, it's, uh, it sounds easy, easy to do, but it's actually a bit of a challenge. Last year I had four gauges in the car, in the dash, and this year I've got five. So I've added another one. And I've got two fuel pressure gauges now. One is for the main fuel pressure that uh, feeds the carburetor and the other fuel pressure is the one that feeds the nitrous system. So I, I can't watch all the gauges at once so you know when I really want to know something about what's going on when the car is going down the track I'll put a GoPro on the steering column here and then I'll let it watch the gauges. You know I, I don't have like a fancy data acquisition system in the car so you know I kind of old school here. But fuel pressure is really critical and key for getting a nitrous system to work nice. So I took the nitrous plate off the manifold that used to sit under the carburetor which I also removed and I've got it sitting in the pail here so here's my nitrous plate now and what I'm doing is uh, some pressure testing on this thing in kind of like a real world situation or at least as real world as I can get it here in the workshop and see what happens is the uh, fuel pressure will drop when the plate is activated but it actually drops more than what I thought it would. It's actually a surprising amount. So what I'm doing is I, I activate it and I, I let the pump pump the fuel through the solenoid here and through that line down to the bottom there and through the actual jet that I would use out the track. There's a jet right under that red fitting there or between the red fitting and that blue one. So I've got one here in my hand. And the jets, they are numbered. There. So this is a 53. And that indicates the size of the hole that's going to allow the, the fuel to get through there. Or nitrous. I mean, this it's the same style of a jet for both the uh, fuel jet and also the nitrous jet, which is on this side here. All right. Spray bar. Spray bar in your face. It's actually surprising how much fuel comes out of there. So next I'm going to set you guys up on the gauge here and then I'll show you what happens there. So the reason I've got two fuel pressure gauges is I was just checking to see if one of them was lying, you know. Just wanted to see if they show the same, they both go to the same place here. So next year I'm going to run a uh, return style regulator and I should have actually been doing that right from the start. But I want to use a kind of an unconventional style of a regulator. I think it's possible to achieve a zero pressure loss, you know, when those solenoids open up. But time will tell, more testing and stuff. I don't mind the R&D.